everybody, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Now today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a paw print scrubby. And this is a really versatile pattern. This scrubby over here is made using two strands of your typical scrubby yarn. This paw print scrubby is made using one strand of your scrubby yarn and one strand of cotton. These two are made using just two strands of cotton yarn. So you've got a scrubby for those big jobs, a scrubby for jobs that aren't quite so big, and then some regular washcloths, or you can use this as a coaster or even an applique. You can make these and put them on a book bag or a scarf or whatever you want to. So this is a very versatile pattern and you can find that pattern link down in the notes underneath this video. Let's talk yarn for just a second. This one that's made with two strands of scrubby, you can use any of your yarns like this that have this type of yarn. This is Red Heart Scrubby. This is Red Heart Cotton Scrubby. You can use the Scrubology from Hobby Lobby that looks just like this. And there are several other yarn companies that are making scrubby yarn like this. So if you want to make the scrubby that's just made out of scrubby yarn, for this pattern, you would hold two strands of the scrubby yarn together. All right. Now, if you want to make one like this, you're going to need some scrubby yarn and some cotton yarn. And what you will do is you'll hold one strand of the cotton yarn and one strand of the scrubby yarn, and then you'll crochet the pattern as written. If you're just going to make cotton ones, you'll just need some cotton yarn. And I'm going to be doing this type for our demonstration today because the scrubby yarn is hard to see on video and for you to see the stitches, okay? And so we're going to make one that looks like this one. And I'm going to be using this Premier Cotton. And this cotton is an 85 and 15% polyester. And then I'm also going to use this, and this is Peaches and Cream, which is 100% cotton. And we're going to make one that looks like this, that's two strands. And I'm going to hold one strand of the Premier Cotton and one strand of the regular cotton together. All right. Now, when you're making these, whether you're using the scrubby yarn or the cotton yarn, you're going to need about a two ounce total, one ounce of each color of your yarn or each strand of your yarn because you don't have to do these in two different colors. You can do it all one color if you want to, but that gives you lots of options of what you can do. We're going to be stitching with our J hook today, and this is a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle to weave in ends, and of course you'll need your scissors. So I've got my two colors. I'm holding them together. I'm going to make my slip knot and I'm going to chain five. I'm going to join this chain five into a circle. So I'll take the tail of my yarn, put it over my hook and pull it through. Then we'll snug that down and put in that stay knot to keep our circle from coming undone. All right, now, I'm going to put my hook through, pull up a loop, making sure I get both my strands of yarn and chain three. This chain three will count as my first double crochet. And now I'm going to stitch nine more double crochets. When working with two strands of yarn, I always try to pull it out a little bit so that it keeps together. You don't want one side drooping. And if you're using the scrubby yarn, it does have a tendency to droop. So you're going to have to watch that as you go. All right, so I'm going to yarn over, go through, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. 
All right, so now I have two double crochets and I need to stitch eight more because remember, our chain three counted is our first double crochet. You will notice that I am holding this a little bit tighter and that's because I want my stitches to be close and tight. When working with the scrubby yarn, I do suggest that you do stitch a little looser just because it's a little easier to see your stitches with that scrubby yarn if you stitch a little bit looser. All right, let's see how many stitches I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I need one more. Now you'll notice that I stitched over this tail of yarn as I made my stitches, and that's so I can close that hole up. All right, <clears throat> and I'll show you how to take care of that in just a second. We're going to join to our chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. All right, now we're gonna turn this over and go ahead and give that a nice good pull. And I'm only going to take one of those strands of yarn. If you're using the scrubby yarn, Together, you'll have to use one of the scrubby yarns. If you're using the cotton and the scrubby, I would put the cotton on my needle to make sure that that's going to stay gathered up tightly and then weave that in. And when I'm doing this, I like to do them separately. I think it just uh, makes it hold tighter, especially if I'm gonna be using this to do a lot of scrubbing. I don't want this to come apart in the center. So I'm going to make sure by doing this separately that they're going to stay together. Now, this is the way I do it. You don't have to. Remember, what I always say is you do what works best for you. All right, so now for row one, we have 10 double crochets and a chain three. For row two, we're going to place two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. Our chain three counts as our first, so we're going to place another double crochet right in that same stitch. And then we'll place two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. When working with the scrubby yarn, something that I do is use my finger and my thumb to find those stitches and just take my time and look for them. It can be difficult. And if you're using the scrubby yarn with the cotton, that makes it a lot easier to find those stitches. Working with scrubby yarn really is just practicing until it um, becomes natural and comfortable to work with it. It is challenging, but it's worth it. I love the scrubby yarns. All right, so I'm gonna continue working around, stitching two double crochets in each of the double crochets around, and then I'll join back to my chain three. I've stitched my two double crochets in each of those 10 double crochets. So now I have 20 double crochets for row two. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And for row three, we're pretty much just going to do the same thing we did for row two. We're going to place two double crochets in each of those 20 double crochets. So our chain three counts as our first, so I'll place another double crochet right in the same stitch as my chain three. And then I'll stitch two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. And 
And again, if you're working with the scrubby yarn, take your time, don't get frustrated. It's well worth learning how to use it. So I'm just going to continue on around stitching two double crochets in each of those 20 double crochets around and then I'll join back to my chain three. And then it will be time to put on the little paw toes. <laughs> I've stitched two double crochets in each of those 20 so for row three I have 40 double crochets. I'm going to join to the top of that chain three and again I'm going to chain three. If you wanted to go ahead and tie off you would have a nice size scrubby as it is but we want to make this look like a paw print. So we have our chain three. In the next stitch we're going to stitch two triple crochets. We're going to put two wraps on our hook. We'll go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. It's going to look like eight because we're using two strands together. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops. That's our triple crochet and we're going to stitch another one right in that same stitch. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch in the next double crochet. Then we'll slip stitch in the next double crochet. And that's one of our dog or cat or cougar or bear toes. <laughs> Anybody or any animal that has a paw, this pattern will work. All right, so let's repeat what we just did. We're going to chain three. We're going to stitch two triples in the next double crochet. One, two, three. Whoops, there we go. I gotta make sure we get both strands. So I have my chain three, two triples, and now I'm going to chain three. There we go. I am pulling tight. We're going to slip stitch in the next double crochet. Then we'll slip stitch in the next. So now I have two toes. <laughs> that is so much fun to me, I just don't know why. All right, let's do this again. Chain three, two triples in the next stitch. There's one and two and chain three. Slip stitch in the next stitch and then slip stitch in the next. Now I have three toes. <laughs> All right, let's give it one more toe. One, two, three chains. Two triples in the next stitch. Chain three. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Then we'll slip stitch in the next stitch and tie off. There's our four toes. Cut my yarn. Pull up my loop. I'm going to go in the next stitch. Grab that loop and pull it to the back. And that just gives it a much neater appearance. And then we can tie off to the back. And we'll weave this in. And again, I'm going to do this with my strands of yarn separately. 
I've done it with a bigger needle and uh, weave that in together, but I just think it works better and lays better if I go ahead and just weave it in with each strand separately. Just go back and forth. Make sure you go through stitches and fibers of the yarn for a much tighter weave in. Also, I feel like this is going to hold better because I'm going to be using this to scrub dishes and things like that. It's going to go through the wash and I want it to hold together. All right, let me finish weaving that in. There we go. And I'll cut that off. So now we have this cute paw print that we can use as a coaster, a washcloth, or an applique, and of course, as a scrubby. <laughs> 